Hey, Charlie, what's up? Hey, David, I want to go do some RVing, but I want to integrate it with some motorcycle riding. And I want the place that we go to be as beautiful as it is memorable. Any ideas? Well, have you thought about New Mexico? Well, I just got back from a ride uh, to New Mexico. Oh, well, what about Utah? Well, I mean, Utah would be absolutely beautiful, you're right. But you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking... Yeah, man, you can't beat South Dakota. Hey, I agree. You want to go with us? Oh, absolutely. I'd love to go. Well, bring your bike down and let's get it loaded. Okay, I'm on the way. Well, the day has finally arrived, the day we depart for South Dakota and the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. At the break of dawn, we enter Tennessee. As Clay keeps the caffeine coming. As we climbed Mont Eagle, I was wondering how the new more rod suspension I'd put on the RV was doing. And even more importantly, how the bikes were doing. She's on the way to South Dakota as well. Yeah. In fact, she'll be at the Blue Ride, so maybe we'll meet up again with her as we travel here. Yeah. Since I think she's only a few miles ahead of us. She came by in that Dodge Ram <laughs> with her with her Fury. Is that yeah? Yeah, her Fury. Fury. Yeah. And she was gone. <laughs> that Fury was furious, wasn't yeah, it? <laughs> she was rolling. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. We slipped by Nashville without playing any country music. Wasn't long before we entered Kentucky, followed by Illinois. And off to our left, as you may recall from some of our other videos, that's St. Louis. And we're about to enter Missouri. Not long after, we stop and are ready for some rest. Oh, and by the way, we reconnected with Desiree, who we met out here last year. Hello, how are you? Been a good ride? Yes. Good ride for yes. you? Yeah. Yes. That's a bigger camper than I thought. I, when I you first came by, I didn't yeah. know it was that long. That thing is just, how long five. is that? 
35. As I do in every stop, a quick check on the bikes. Well, that's going to do it for day one of our travels. We made it to the other side of St. Louis, so we're going to shut it down here for the night. And uh, we hope to see y'all in the morning. Clay now stepped away from the RV. Meanwhile, an 18 wheeler had parked beside us. And as you can see, we had a dilemma. I wish you could have seen the way that we climbed in. The next morning, our luck didn't improve. In fact, another 18 wheeler had taken the place of the other. And he was even closer than the first. Time to make an escape plan. So what Daryl is gonna do right now is raising the screen, open the back window and try to go through the back door to get out that way. So hopefully this works. Yeah, see right here is the glass door. Back. Fortunately, we can, even with the bikes back there, I can open the door a little bit. And I think I can climb through here. <laughs> i back in 10 minutes, wait a little longer. <laughs> You'll get it. Again, you can see how tight this particular rest area is, why you have to be very careful, even with steps, and certainly the reason we don't open any of our slides. So, we got 940 miles to go. Uh -huh. what, what is that, two, uh, 470 a day? Yeah, yeah that's we'll do 470, 470 yeah, a day. 470 a day. So today I know we'll at least do 5, 550, so tomorrow will be even a shorter ride for Somewhere around here, we crossed into the great state of Iowa and won't be long before we reach South Dakota. So today we had another long day, 600 miles today. Yep. Yesterday was uh, 647 miles, yeah. so we've been putting them on. We are at a rest area here in uh, South Dakota. Yep, it's right off I-90. We're close around Sioux Falls, South okay, Dakota. Yeah. yeah. And we've got 350 more miles to go tomorrow before we get to Spearfish, which is where our campground uh, is. Same yep. campground we were in last, last year. year yeah. uh, Desiree's next door to us over there, so she'll be uh, getting some rest of there tonight. Yep, she just finished cutting her dog's hair. I yeah. actually just sat with her while she finished doing that. One more look at a beautiful sunset before we enjoy a peaceful and quiet night's rest. Good morning everyone. Uh, we just had a peaceful night's rest here in this rest area, believe it or not. It's the second night on the way out to the uh, Sturgis. And we had some more people come in and join us as well. One's a toy hauler, one is a uh, is not, but he's also pulling a motorcycle trailer behind him. Today we actually will arrive in Spearfish uh, to our campsite. 
As we reached Chamberlain, South Dakota, Desiree had recommended us stopping at a statue that, that we all missed last year while out here on the trip. You're looking at the statue called Dignity. It's a 50 foot high stainless steel sculpture and she is impressive. It sits on the bluff overlooking the Missouri River it depicts an indigenous woman in plain style dress receiving a star quilt. Oh, and by the way, it's actually located here at the rest area. Time to move on. Next stop, Spearfish, South Dakota. We passed through the badlands of South Dakota. Then the famous town of Sturgis. That's the Sturgis sign way up on the hill. You can actually see it better than the camera is showing it, trust me. And now we're arriving in Spearfish at Chris's camp, which will be home for the next few days. Good, how are you today? I'm a subscriber. Oh, you really? Yeah. Very nice to I see saw, you. I saw the missus walking, I'm like, no way. And I did double take, I'm like, no, I can't be. And I look behind my dad's rig and I'm like, I'll be damned, they made it two how years ago. How about in a that? Row. Now that we've made it safely to the RV park, time to unload the bikes. After unloading the bikes and getting the RV set up, I soon realized we had an issue with the refrigerator. And fortunately, I was able to diagnose the problem. Yeah, so this fan right here started smoking when it would come on. So it's time to replace that. And based on the recommendation of uh, my friend Roger, I'm going to go ahead and replace both of them. As I showed you earlier, this is the fan that went bad. It began to smoke when, they, when they'd be activated. A dear friend of mine, Roger Malone, uh, Bigfoot mobile RV services out of Florida overnighted me two new fans, so I'm just going to even replace the one that's working. But as he said, if one failed, the other is probably getting pretty close to failing. So he also gave me some very helpful pointers on how to remove the refrigerator and make some room back there so I can 
install the but i just want to give a shout out to bigfoot mobile rv services he's also a youtuber he and his wife they are the tall and short travelers so check them out links to his channel and his company will be down below Well, as you can see, we've made it here to South Dakota. Yeah, we sure have. In fact, we hope you've enjoyed this video of toy hauling to Sturgis. Yep. There's a lot of things to see and do out here, and we hope to bring you some more good content while out here. Yep, so thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video. Until then, be, be well, well and stay, stay safe. safe.